Mr. Owl, have I ever told you what a cute pair of feet you have? Hi! Today, I am wondering about pairs of objects. But before I get started, I'm going to pour myself a cup of tea and then I will meet you at the desk. Do you know what a pear is? Not the pear we eat, but a pair of something. Think about your shoes. We say we have a pair of shoes. How many shoes do you have? Two. We also say we have a pair of socks. How many socks make a pair? Two. So we say a pair of something means two objects that belong together, either because they are the same or because they need each other to work. Let me show you what I mean. Take a look at my stapler. I want to staple my papers together. But nothing happened. My stapler is missing what it needs to make a good pair. Do you know what my stapler would need? Staples! Here they are. Now let me add my staples into my stapler and let's see if it works. Yep, there it is. My stapler and my staples make a good working pair. Now I want you to practice with me at home. Did you remember to get your shoe, your spoon, and your crayon or marker? Go get them now if you don't have them. Are you ready? So here's how we play this game. I am going to hold up my side of the pair and I want you to hold up your side of the pair. Which object works best together? Are you ready? Here is my paper. Can you hold up what you have that would make a good pair? Good job! I see your crayon. Let's try it again. Here is my fork. Can you hold up what you have that would make a good pair? Good job, I see your spoon. And what's last? My sock. What do you have that makes a good pair for my sock? Good job, that's a great shoe. Does it smell? <laughs> good job, we had some fun making pairs of objects, but let's try it again. Let me move my items to the side and take a look at my table. I have spread out objects I've gathered and I want you to see if you can make the pair. Do you know what this is? These are swim goggles. We love to swim at our house. But when we swim, we like to play with toys. Can you find the swim toy in my collection? Tell your teacher what color my swim toy is. Orange is right, here it is. So I am going to move these two together to make my pair. What else should we do? Do you like to hammer at home? What do you see that makes a good pair for my hammer? Tell your teacher what it is. Oh, I see it. Here's my nail. A hammer and nail make a great pair. What else could we use? Oh, this is a fun toy my kids played when they were little. Can you tell what its pair is? The color is going to give it away. Way over here. This toy works best when it has both objects together. Have you tried one of these before? Let's leave that there. Oh, 
when it's dark, I love to use my flashlight. But it needs its pair to work. What do you see that goes with my flashlight? <gasps> my battery. Yep, a flashlight isn't any good without its batteries. What's next? I see my paintbrush. What do I need to make my paintbrush work best? That's right, paint. Tell your teacher where my paint is. Right in front of me. There you go. What's next? Oh dear, I see a marker missing its other pair. What does it need to make it work best? A cap is right. If I don't keep my marker and cap together, my marker will dry out and will stop working. I have more objects left. Yes, I see my screw, but I can only use it if I have a screwdriver. There you go, my last full pair. But wait, what is wrong with my picture? Can you tell your teacher what's wrong? Take a look at my knife. Oh dear, does my knife have a pair? Nope, I don't see it. Can it work very well by itself? Maybe, but what do I have that we saw earlier that can make my knife work best? You're right, my fork. Now my knife and my fork make a good pair. Now it's time to start working your math book. And when you're done, don't forget to keep looking for pairs all around your home. Maybe even see what's outside. Mr. Owl, did you have fun today? So did I. Do you remember what I wondered about when we first started? I wondered about pair of objects, just like a pair of wings and a pair of eyes. But the most important question is, what do you wonder? See you next time.